morning. I'm here again. I'm just uh, here at Cumberland Mine Railroad, March 23rd, 2020. <coughs> and I wanted to talk to you about corrugation. It's a uh, longitudinal uh, anomaly. Actually, this is uh, these defects are classified under the heading of what is called longitudinal anomalies. Corrugation is like a, it's also called a washboard rail. There's some really bad pieces on up through there too. Actually, we're, we're going to replace this whole inside rail here. It's about uh, 1,200 feet or so of rail we're going to replace. Um, this uh, corrugation, it's like a repeated wave-like pattern through here. And there's some flaking in here too. But what's, uh, what causes this is, and it makes for a pretty rough ride, I said not all pieces are as bad as others. And it's a little bit more difficult to see because it's kind of raining here this morning. Uh, the dry rail, you can actually see it a lot better. But uh, this is a uh, about an 8 degree curve. And you can see we're on a downhill grade. It's about 1.75% grade. And we're right... Um, about in the middle of a three mile hill coming down grade. So what's happening here, think about this. You got an eight degree curve coming downhill. There's a lot of braking going on, especially with wet rail. And your wheel sets on your uh, cars. You have an outside wheel, an inside wheel, and a solid axle. So whatever one side wheel turns, the other side wheel has to turn also. Well, you all know from watching horse racing that the inside wheel would go faster than the outside wheel. So one of these wheels is actually um, sliding or hopping, they call it, too, uh, to try to keep up with the other wheel. So that's what's causing this. And then plus the uh, braking action coming down grade with the loads this is all loads coming down grade uh, is not making things any better and if you ever uh, looked at a uh, a wheel uh, actually a car wheel the tread on it ha is beveled at three degrees it's actually a one called a one in 40 cant C-A-N-T. And that helps alleviate that sliding on uh, curves up to about 3 to 4 degrees. But we're, uh, I said this is an 8 degree curve. So that's uh, downhill with braking and that's what's causing this. But we're going to replace all this rail and uh, we'll make it all nice and new. And I've, I've got another vi couple videos up about what we're going to do here at Curve 49 new rails over here we were going to have a, a contractor apprentice come out loader operator uh, the grapple truck is what a apprentice loader is this morning and move some more rail for us but he called off with the flu well he said he'd be in to work it's a contractor but they told him uh, you got the flu you stay home so we're not going to get any rail moved today I am going to get some cribbing done, digging out between the ties. Um, that's my job this week is to crib out these ties. We're going to re completely uh, redo this curve. 350 new ties are going to put in, plus the new rail and all these, all this muds. I uh, watched my last video I put up, and I'll show you them all. A bunch of mud and why these tire, uh, ties are uh, going to get replaced. These, uh, there's a uh, another pretty gouge down into the rail. Not going to be long before that rail uh, 
brakes, so we got to get rid of that stuff.